Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Force. I just kicked uh, Ninja Boy's ass, and my level just went up. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, I got some leadership power. Hit points by two, it's not bad. Gotta find another castle storm. I guess I'll storm. We have magic, but even better escapes. Yeah, let's retreat for now. I heard your story. Yeah, what is Gunner doing? Um, should probably go back to the castle and recruit some more troops before I fight who's ever in it in this castle. Let's see who's in it. Just Silva. I could probably still beat her. Uh, just to be on the safe side, I'll go back and recruit. Direct. Right here. Well, while he walks down there, we'll view the map a little bit. Castles, all stuff here to. It's a pretty long game. You gotta destroy all these castles. And take on the general of each little section of the map. It gets a lot better as the game goes on. It starts off kind of slow. You're just kind of building your army, learning your controls, stuff like that. It's recruit. Update Rygor. Baghib needs some troops. Might have enough to replenish everybody's supply. Ignores a few, uh, a few soldiers. All right, all my all my folks got a full armies. Now let's deploy some troops out to fight. I'll pick Rygar again. Should I take Gunner? One more, I'll take Norse. Nah. I'll take Gunner. One on. That's all I want. I don't want Norse. You can stay back here with Wongos and play cards or whatever they do in a castle when they're alone. Alright, we're going out to fight. A castle with one general in it. It's pretty easy. You just gotta walk so far to get there. Wish I had a fast forward button. So this guy just hurry his ass up. Or, what the hell is this? Oh, the Skull Children. I remember that. You gotta fight them a bunch throughout the game, too. They just appear and they're big pains in the asses. You're trying to advance to the castle, they always get in your path and you have to fight them. Live the squeeze of life from this helpless land. And the fun out of this game. I hate the Skull Children. I forgot all about them. Get out of the way. Why are you saying something different? Watch me disappear. Oh, uh, maybe we duel. Die, coward. Guess we're gonna fight him. Okay, I don't know what just happened there. I don't... Did I fight him? Did he leave? 
Oh, at least he's not in my way anymore. Domestic affairs is where uh, you'll get different awards to reward your generals. You can use the rewards to have different um, different army members, or I mean different uh, types of groups you fight with, like soldiers, cavalry, dragons, where you can just add more onto the army. Like instead of having 20 soldiers, you can have 30 soldiers. Uh, and you usually get awards during uh, these domestic affairs, but uh, there's also a lot of talking and um, your folks that are injured can come back from the hospital during a domestic affairs back in, so it's, it's a good thing. It's kind of like getting like a level up, sort of. They're still talking about this uh, ninja teacher. They're calling a legend. Alright, here's the review. We'll see if anyone won any awards. Alright, Rygar did pretty good, even though he hasn't really done a lot much. I guess he did fight a few fights. Okay. Now I came back from the hospital, so we'll end this, this meeting for now. And I will carry on to destroy this other castle. Unless the skull children get me first. Oh, I just missed him. They'll be coming. I guarantee the next battle is going to be the skull children. They're so damn annoying. I think there's just one general in here. I might be wrong. No, maybe not. Oh, it's just this guy? Zero soldiers? Well, he's gonna be easy. Who should I use? Why do they always automatically start me off with bag him? It's always the first person to fight. Alright, it's gonna be a tough one. Um, yeah, we'll advance him out. Run, beast men! Doesn't it make you feel like you're watching uh, the Discovery Channel? Watch the beast men in their wild. Hike across the grassy meadows. To scamper about the night all by himself. And then somewhere in the distance a man comes with claws on his hands and bitch slaps the knight in the face. Took him out long to retreat. All his beast men versus him and what a moron. Should've just left him to die, I don't even want to gotcha. That's a moron. Well, I wasn't the castle, that was some other guy that popped out before the castle. That's right. We'll still be able to take Silva. But that'll be in the next video. So stay tuned.